I remember this story so vividly, utterly horrific. Just this idyllic country scene, a few kids playing together, siblings, and then this monster comes out of nowhere in a van and your little sister just for a second runs yeah. ahead and she's gone and that's the last you see of her. Luke, how, how difficult has it been for your family? It's been... It's been up and down, like, you know, it's been... It's, it's devastating. You can't really explain the effect on what it's had on you, mm -hmm. you know. You don't know how... what would have happened if it hadn't have happened. You know, how would you be now if you'd be the same person? It's, you know, it's life-changing. When you were, what, tw 12 years old at the time? I was 11. 11, and this is your little sister? One yeah, of your Sarah. Sisters. It was very close to me, Sarah. Do you remember what happened? Is, is it very vivid for you? Yes, yeah, I play through my head, Leo, literally every day. Every time I close my eyes, it's there. Uh, I can't really get away from it, to be honest. She was just ahead of you, weren't you? Wasn't she? You were playing hide and seek. Mm. She'd fallen over. She decided to just head off towards the road. And, That's right. and you were just, you know, you were all playing together. You go and follow her. What seems so extraordinary is that she just had disappeared. What did Literally. you, where were you? How far behind were you? Well, bit, what did you think had happened? The thing is like, we were just all playing a game. Mm. And I feel like it would every day that uh, she'd slipped and fallen, hurt herself or something. And uh, basically her and Lee ended up having like a little tiff, like a little argument and she got the right hump and she decided to duck off out the field and she was running up the field. So I ran up after her sort of grabbed hold of her and I got to where she was halfway through the field and I was begging her to come back and she wouldn't. So I kind of lost my temper with her and I just turned around and I said, go on then, fine, just go, like that. And I've turned around and I ran back. And it's like, as soon as I got back to Lee and Charlotte, I just knew, I don't know, something inside me just knew that, I don't know, something went right. She had got to the end of the field and then that's when Lee decided to run after her and he had just missed her. So I... And the chilling thing for Lee was that he then saw Roy, Roy Whiting, Whiting in the van and Roy Whiting smiled and waved at him. Yeah, that's terrible. Charlotte, you were just five years old. Yeah. I know your memory of it is, is not as graphic because you, you aren't obviously as old, but you know, you've lost your, your big sister. I mean, you're never yeah. gonna have that relationship. Yeah, it, it's, it's tough. I mean, I've had friends that have older sisters and they do all like, the shopping and the boy talk and mm. obviously I, I, didn't, I didn't get to do that with Sarah, so that is hard. And I do, I have certain memories, but again, I'm not sure if they're memories of what people have told me, because I've, I've seen documentaries and see it on, mm. seen it on the news, so... It's hard to tell what's real and what's not. Yes. It had a, it had a terrible toll, didn't it, uh, Luke, on, on your parents and your father mm. hit him very, very hard, I remember. He had big problems with alcoholism, you know, it, it probably in the end, contributed to his, his death. death. It did. Definitely. And I mean, no child should have to go through what you have also been through. The fact that, Luke, you go over in your head what happened, the fact that mm. you have these feelings about your last words yeah. to Sarah. And Charlotte, your thoughts about, I mean, I can imagine it plays through your mind if you'd gone oh, ahead. Oh, yeah, definitely. It could have been me. Mm. It just so happened it was her and you do get a guilt from that, don't you? Because you're like, why yeah, not Charlotte, me? Charlotte, you was a lot younger than Sarah. She was a little bit older, so, you know, she liked to rebel against her, her brothers sort of thing, you know, with the older brothers. and It's a terrible mm. burden for your it's family. It's so normal, that. You know, I've got three siblings. It's just that kind of thing yes, happens yeah. every day. You just never imagine. No. No. And it was such a freakish circumstance. But just he was just, there. We, we mm. played there all the time. Like, literally, we used to go to my own and granddad's most weekends, mm. and we'd always be playing in cornfields there or in the woods out the back. So there's nothing like out of the ordinary than what we would normally do. Yeah. Do you think, Charlotte, that your mum's work, such important work in helping people who might locally be worried about a paedophile living in their local area. Do yeah. you think that that has contributed towards saving other children, protecting Definitely. the safety of 100%. other children? That's what, that's what mum set out to do, and I believe she has achieved well, that. It opens people's minds to actually, you know, that, that the world's not as Great soft as, as what, yeah. Well, not as safe as you may assume it might be in a exactly. cornfield in the countryside. This you don't know who's living next door to you. You don't know who, you know. And that was the point of your mum's campaigning, is that yes. this was a convicted sex offender. That's it. it who was. did this, but nobody really knew that. 
and so you weren't aware of this potential that's risk it. and that's that's the work that your mum did which has been so uh, courageous listen Charlotte Lou thank you so much for coming thank you thank we you know how much. difficult it has been yeah. for you we know how nervous you were so yeah. thank you. you you tell the story in such a heartbreaking way you know it's just you can't imagine anything worse yeah. than losing a little sister like that no. the, the uh, your mum's story uh, Sarah Payne and mother's story is on Channel 5 tonight at 9 p.m. urge people to watch it it's a it's a harrowing story, but the work your mum does is the so one positive that's come yeah. from this. That's right. Thank you both yeah. so much.